Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the last best of two of this Chinese qualifier for Starlighter Season 9 underway. Dream Time versus NE Gaming. Now we have some things to report, Merlini. There will not be a tie break. No matter the outcome of this series, one of these two teams will be qualifying. So this is actually a big best of two to end the event. Very exciting. Getting jiggy with it. Yeah, I am getting jiggy. <laughs> I like Will Smith, man. He's I like some of the lyrics in that song. He's got a cigar, but he doesn't light it. He just likes to bite it because it's for the look. I screwed up the order of the rhymes. Why would you just have it for the look, though? That's not cool. I don't know. He's got like a $100 cube, and he's like, I just bite it. Don't light it. It's like, all right, Will. I mean, if, if you're that serious about not encouraging smoking, just don't bring it up. You know? Right, yeah. Just don't bring it up. That's all you got to do. Talk <laughs> about your fly trousers or your, your fly car or your hat. I don't know. It seems weird. Fresh prints. But uh, anyway, one, this, is, this is, like I said, a big series. If Dream Time takes game one, it's over. We'll probably still play a game two, I, I would assume, since it's a best of two. But they will be the team to qualify. If NE take the first game, it will be a dead even tie, and it will come down to the bitter end of that one last game. This Fat Robin ra format is working out, though. I thought it was going to be. It is. I thought that it was going to be a tiebreaker. There's a pretty high chance. There's a high chance. Yeah, yeah. We, we got a little bit lucky, but it's nice. I like it when. Um, I lucky? Like you mean you don't want more tiebreakers of Chinese Dota? <sighs> it's nothing against the Chinese Dota. It's just tiebreaks in general, or they're messy. I don't like it. They are messy. I don't like it. They they actually posted the whole like description of what it would come down to, like how they decide, and it, it's long and complicated. Would there have been tiebreakers? Um, well, th there was a scenario, it, it comes down to, like, the, oh, God, you're going to make me pull it up, aren't you? Yeah. There's, there, there's a chance that it would have come to that, but. So, I'll uh, talk about the draft while you look at yeah, that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Looking at the draft, the only unusual pick is nothing. We've seen Batrider first pick, actually, fairly often in these qualifiers. Dragonite second pick, I think, is probably a little bit unusual. AA, we have seen, um, quite often. And Sardar, I guess, pretty early. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Oh, yeah. So, okay, I've got it up here. And um, basically, it comes down to if it's a tie break, it will be based on um, a wins and losses in the matchups. Like if the teams that are tied lost to other do you, you, you know what do you know yeah, what, I mean? what I, I don't know how to articulate that. So then if that so if that is still a tie, yeah. uh, the next step is um um uh yeah, that that's when they look at time rating. Uh, time rating. I do not like time rating as a tie breaking decider. Oh, oh wait, factor. no, that's how it was originally, and then they they made they called an audible and they said no, time rating is no good, and then it would have just been a tie break, like uh, I guess another series between okay. the two. So, yeah, I, time time rating is very poor choice. It's silly, yeah, because it's just it it, yeah. it favors teams that use different strategies. It favors like, teams that push basically. Yeah, it which favors is pushing strats, which is yeah. Well, I mean, why encourage that? It's cool if you want to do a pushing strat, but you shouldn't get extra points for yes, doing. Yes, I a agree. I second strat. that. It's like, well, if it's going to be close, we should just do all pushing strats just to make the game as fast as possible. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I guess it wouldn't have been too bad with only four teams. It would have just been an additional series. If it was a three-way tie, that's when things get really messy. That's so anyway, it doesn't matter because we won't have one. But this it's draft, nice. yeah. It's nice that we'll well, have the slaughter draft. draft pick came out a while ago and they're still looking at the next band so DET is like WTF do we do now versus Batrider or and Sardar and then any gaming's like yeah we got Sardar <laughs> I think this was the team that just likes running Slardar. I think I mentioned it on the the first day where they were they were just pick they just threw Slardar in just like we need to carry Slardar. He's okay. Yeah. Uh, he does well with more minus armor. Mm -hmm. He also does well with supports that actually he like give him defensive capabilities mm -hmm. like dazzle i think is a really good one with him abaddon is also really good with him mm -hmm. uh, ventral spirit augments her da his damage he swaps him out of risky positions and more minus armor things like those are my ideal supports if i want to run something with slardar yeah. slardar is also particularly good against weaver he's also good Ten somewhat seconds, decent against potom because moonlight shadow is annoying uh, he's really good against nature's prophet because nature's prophet can't split Radiant push once he gets a blink ben. but Aside from that, he's he's not dumpster tier. We need we need tiers. So bottom is dumpster tier. I don't know what's above dumpster though. Dumpster like tier. God tier is the top. God tier is the ops. Absolute, god tier like, is a visage is god tier support. Okay. Like he he's he's in his own group. You know, <laughs> the middle ground between dumpster tier and god tier. Though, I would say like twenty five percent to seventy five percent is like more like thirty five to sixty five <laughs> is mediocre. Just regular tier, mediocre yeah. tier. Yeah. Like, well, we need like a twenty five to thirty five. Ooh. Or a 10, 10 to 35 toilet percent. Toilet tier? That's toilet totally tier? better than dumpster. Trash tier? Trash tier. <laughs> dumpster trash tier is like... 
The dumpster. Don't. See, what's what makes the dumpster tier special is that like you don't have a dumpster at your house. Everyone's got a trash can, <laughs> but if you really have something big, something terrible that you can't get rid of, you got to drive it to the dumpster. You know, that's <laughs> it's it's serious. But well, all right, interesting last picks: Doom and Tinker. Doom's pretty good for their lineup. Although yeah. they don't have good counter initiate versus Bat Rider, though. That's the one thing I'm worried about. Dream Time's lineup is like, well, we're you're gonna get a kill when you get Lasso, but hopefully we can get more kills. That's what their lineup's about in team fights. And and he's like, well, we have some long range artillery with the AA ultimate with the Tinker rockets with the Bat Rider potential initiate, but we don't really have a well designed lineup. Yeah. So Slardar, excited about uh, seeing more Slardar action, but. I worry uh, for Dream Time here. This is going to be one of these drafts where they have You're a lot of... You worry for Dream Time? I'm worried for NE. Really? Yeah, I'm worried for NE. Firstly, they're the underdogs. They, they are, are the 70, underdogs. 70-30 underdogs. 70-30? underdogs. 70 30? 70 30. 70 30. 70 30. 70 30. That, that, I think that's extreme. I don't I don't think it's that much of a disparity. I don't think it's so either. I, but I, I, think, that, th I think that's a good bet. 70-30? Just bet on the 30. They're, that's, that's extreme. Their lineup is like Garbo, though. Garbo? Garbo. By they, you mean Bo NE? Both lineups, I think, are <laughs> slightly Garbo. <laughs> but NE's is more Garbo than DT's. <laughs> like, what? what is going on here? Why would you have, like, a Chen and Nature? Uh, DT's so, is, like, the Doom pick doesn't really fit in. Rubik's, like, a decent support versus Bat Rider, though. But, like, their right. aggression is very lacking. Like, Doom, Chen, and Nature Prophet are all very passive. Right, and, that, that, and that's my beef. They have a lot of obvious pushing power between the Dragon Knight, Chen, and Nature's Prophet. They're they going to be pushing like crazy. There's going to be Rat Dota. But they, like you mentioned, they don't have a lot of initiation to deal with the Bat Rider, and they just don't have a ton of control. Though I guess it's not as bad as I was originally thinking. They've got Dragon Tail, they've got maybe War Stomp, whatever Chen can grab out of the jungle, whatever Doom can devour, so that there's some potential there, but... Other than that, it's just telekinesis. They don't have any, like, huge disables. They don't have any AoE disables. That's yeah. a big part of it. And I, I think any, like, in a team fight can just run over them. If Bat gets a decent blink, Slardar gets his blink as well. Yeah. Once Tinker gets a blink, it's, it's going to be CM crazy. CM cast freezing field. Yeah, it's, it's just going to be crazy. It's going to be madness. So, uh, conversely, though, if DT can push, like, if they pick up some momentum, maybe knock down the tier Dude, 1 Dude, they tower. have March. They have Firefly. They have AA yeah. Ultimate. Like, that push is going to get quelled once, it, once they hit true. level 6. Pull out your quell. Blade, they've got a Tinker. So, I, I don't know, but like, why would you pick Tinker and Slardar? Slardar is not good in their lineup, it's not good versus the other opponent's lineup, it doesn't synergize with anything. He's like a fighter, Tinker is a fighter, but once he gets BOTs, he's that's gonna take some time, and he's more of like a passive fighter rather than like he's more reactionary because he just TPs and is annoying. But I don't know, I'm just like, what? Well, the, the only thing that I can say is that any just like Slardar. I mean, that they did it before, and they did it again. They just they like the way he farms. They like the way he blinks. They like the way he I don't says like the way name. he farms. I I don't know what it is they like about him. I I'm not really sure either because well well I mean he's a good hero, but I mean, I don't know what they like like why here. There's literally no other minus armor. I don't see any synergy for picking a Slardar in this lineup. I don't either. Like um, this could be any. This could be a specter. This could be a, just imagine if this was a radiant specter. <laughs> I'm radiant. imagining, and I'm like, man, <laughs> this lineup is so good. And then I, I open my eyes. I'm like, wow, what is this lineup? Yeah. So it's it's going to be interesting. Both sides uh, have a chance, but with the pushing lineup, it's th they put themselves on a timer, and that always makes me uh, a little bit uh, potentially nervous here. In July, he'll just he'll take a cold feet. He doesn't care about stuff. Oh, he got he got a lot of damage on that on that ancient apparition. He doesn't have a self. So he's going to have to borrow some regen from the star coming out soon. Uh, you uh, never want to be in that position. No, he's got some regen. He's got some tango. Yeah, but I mean, like in July, took him down. He, he traded very efficiently in that exchange. Yeah, that's that's true. That's that's definitely true. Well, Slardar should have a pretty good time farming down here against the solos na uh, solo nature's probably. Oh, let me crank the sticks. Let me get some sounds going. Yeah, here. dude, we get that sound. Away. Let's get these. I got to listen to Slardar nail. Or else I'm going to be al imagining a lot of specters with yeah, my eyes closed. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm still feeling pretty chipper, still working on my Red Bull, but... You know, we are getting into the wee hours of the night. So Doom has seven last hits, but zero than I. Slaughter has six last hits. I mean, this early game, uh, well, hopefully we don't miss first blood again, but it's just a lot of passivity. And looking at Tinker, he has gone two in March, so that is even more passive Ooh. than one would originally assume. He has the not March stacked any ancient. Huh? Yeah, dude, March, March build is standard. Yeah. It's the. Uh, he should be stacking right now. Like, he should be stacking at the 151, but instead, he's just going to get one measly creep instead. 
Opportunity cost, man. Opportunity cost. Opportunity cost. cost. Look at you, Mr. Economics. Oh, Bat Rider. Alex, up in no man's land a little bit. He's just going to firefly around but against Rubik. That's Doom. a lot of damage. Get that Rubik. He's just walking through the fire. So, so is the Doom. Doom just walking through the fire. Do, do they know what fire does? Do I they know how much damage this thing does when you have three stacks on you? Does Chen know what's going on, too? He literally <laughs> did like a thousand damage combined to those three heroes with one firefly. Wow, Doom only has one Tango left as well. I yeah. Mean, so Nature's Prophet poured it in, but if Alex wanted to man up right there, he might have been able to secure a kill on Doom. It would have been sticky. <laughs> I know why Bat Rider's first pick now, because they clearly don't see the fire. Because uh, no, no WoW Raiders here in this game. They don't know what's going on, dude. They just oh, they just so literally tanked that thing so much. And Alex is able to get away with creep pooling in the offlane when there's two supports. Like, this should not happen yeah. at all. Like, they might get a first blood at mid, but this is a very low probability. And if they stay... Oh, oh, mm -hmm. oh Tanker, good positioning here from Tinky Really Winky. good positioning. It is Sheiky. He is their experienced yep. mid player. And Dreamy U, he'll take okay. three tower shots. And he's out of regen. He's going to have to waddle back to the well, I think. This is just not a good early game from DT. Uh, they're a little bit sloppy. I will this give is, you that. This is slop city, man. Pop, poppy getting sloppy. Double damage rune up on the Dragon Knight, and he will go to four. Let's see how are the last hits here in the mid lane. 16 and 2 against the 13 and 3. Tinker is pretty easy. Tinker's even. march march direction is noobish. <laughs> there's yep. a there's an art to march direction. All and right. He does not know the art of march direction. Somebody he, dial one. So he he's and, doing it this way. Yeah. So that means it won't hit the range creeps, and then th it makes it very easy for DK to just stand in this area and not get hit by march. Mm -hmm. He want so. you want to make him like if he comes up for creeps, he gets hit by march. If he, so you want to zone him out with it. You want, you want to, to come do it this way. You, you no, want no, 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 no. You don't do it. No, you want to go sideways. You, you want to go diagonally. You need more flux, dude. For all the <laughs> physics people, <laughs> you need more flux. I'm not gotta, kidding. I, I've talked about this before. You got a diagonal it. That's yeah. That's you got a diagonal because you you get mar you get one row of marches for like everything, and then if he stands anywhere, he's going to get hit by march. Okay. So all right. it's all about the angles. It's all about the angles. Sometimes you can go do left to right too, or right to left. Left to right. It all depends on which way they're running. Right to left is better though because he's going to be positioned to the right. What about diagonals up? into the tower is that it's not yeah. as good no are we talking about up up left up yeah. left to down right sure it's because dragon knight's not standing over here he's yeah. going to stand closer to his tower right so you want him if he runs up to the creep wave he gets hit by march okay. you notice he's at like full hp and so, not, oh yeah okay see, see look he's just like not taking any march he's just dodging it he took like 100 damage from the march if you stand in a march you take like probably like 400 damage, 500 damage. If, you, if you got the diagonals, though, if that's, you got that, the that's the key. Yeah, okay. you I need see. more flux, man. You need the flux. All right. Tinker's all about the flux. He's all about he's the a flux. he's a, he's all about the physics, all about the mechanics, all about okay. the technology. He right. knows about the flux. Shiki does I, not uh, know. I, I left my protractor back in New Jersey, so um, I don't know. Noob at fluxing. Noob at fluxing. Yeah, I'm not a, not a big fluxer. So all right. And he's not stacking. And like, he's not stacking. And uh, that hurts. That's part of the reason you go the machine build yeah, primary the so that you can take out ancient. Yeah, right? dude. Get your it, BOTs. That's the whole. Oh, Bat Rider. Bat Rider. He's in a little bit of a sticky situation. They may get a first blood here. Nature's Prophet ports first up the sprout. Blood. There it is. Rubik grabs it. Four hero rotation for a first blood. They need to translate this into a tower kill. And the new flexor is very far away from his BOTs. Like, he should have Soul Ring by now. Flux capacitor. Fluxing. He's not fluxing. He's not fluxing. He's he doesn't know what flux is. The, the DeLorean ran out of gas. They're stuck back in the Wild West. Gas won't be invented for another few decades. Do you know what flux is? Did you take physics? No, I, I've heard oh. the word, but I don't. Flux I don't really is know like exactly what it is. Um, you're, you're gonna make me admit my incompetence here. Oh, okay. Well, that's no. Please that's educate. Enough. Now I'm curious. I want to know exactly what. Don't make me Google it, man. You should Google it. <laughs> it's a physics term. It is. Yeah. I mean, I know it's a real word. Oh. Flux. Isn't that, I thought it had something to do with electricity, like the the flux of like a. Uh, oh, field. oh, Andrew. Or are, are, oh, you're looking it up. <laughs> oh, Andrew. <laughs> F flux is that a rapper? What? Flow rate per unit area. Flow rate. Jesus. Radiance top tower has fallen. Yeah, it's usually used for like yeah, as you said, electricity, but it can yeah. be used for a lot of different things. But so he needs maximum march per area. And per area. He's not getting it. So, uh, I, uh, how does the angle increase the flux? I guess Dyer's is my because the creeps get blocked. Attack. Like when you're doing it this Dyer's way, the the range creep doesn't get hit. Okay. Doesn't get hit by the ones that do the melee. Have you done a mailbag about this? Oh, no. Like we have some. 
Yeah, okay. But, like, you should be able to kill an entire wave with one march. one lo Especially a level 3 march. But, like, the notice the siege creep and the range creep, they don't die. If you cast it the other way, you have, like, four waves of marches hitting, and none of them overlap. So, I don't In know. Interesting. I'm not a... I, I I'm not a mathematician. I tend but I to harp. Some flux. I tend to harp on the mid players a lot more because I'm a mid player myself, and yeah. I like I like playing Tinker a lot. So. Yeah, I've seen you play Tinker. You you've won me games with your Tinker. Yeah, I like Tinker. Tinker is ownage, but you need to know about the flux. Yeah, you gotta learn about <laughs> the flux. All right. So was that a yay or nay about the mailbag? Because I have a, not done the mailbag. Well, there you go. I think man. that's a very situational one. Though. I like to do overarching. Okay, yeah. I, the last was, what was the last one you did? Was that the Midas one? I don't know. That was a long that, time ago. It's been a while. Old, Midas yeah. was... was uh, Midas was a good one, though. That was nice. Yeah. I, I learned a little bit. Tidbit. <laughs> How to flux with Tinker. How to flux, How to flux things up. Dude, that, that, that title sells itself. People are like, flux? I thought that was <laughs> not Dota. And then you get in there, you're hitting them with big physics words. If you, put, I'll let you use my TI-89 if you want. Oh, nice. I don't need that. Please. Still, it's nice prop. So, if you usually have you ever look at, check like damage done at the end of the game in competitive matches? Uh, not really. Not really. Not oh, that's usually. actually I really mean, not usually. It's a really important uh, thing. Sometimes you can actually check it on Dota buff, but Tinker should like. I remember w there was a stats like what skill does the most damage, and I think it was marching machines and rockets were top or top t one. It's, they were very high on the list. Rockets, like the heat seeking rockets. Yeah, heat seeking. Oh, heat seeking heat missiles and marshal machines. When you said rocket, I was thinking a clockwork rocket. That was what I thought oh, of no, when no. you said that. Okay, oh yeah, so sorry. Tinker does that much damage, really. But not this guy. Yeah, I mean, I believe the march, like that ability is ridiculous. But heat seeking, heat -seeking missile is very efficient, dude. Six fifty for. I mean, it, there's no doubt the ability does a lot of damage, but like over the course of a game, like he spams it enough that it does more Apparently. damage than any other ability. That just that seems cray cray. It's apparently very high. Well, there's so. a smoke from DT down bottom. They're hungry. They're hungry for Slardar salad. And well, I feel it. like we were missing something talking a lot about it, but no, it's we, still 1-0 in we, 9 minutes. We missed so. absolutely nothing. I can keep flexing on. Look, five-man rotation down bottom. DT know what they need to do. They got ZCD is teeping out. It is too oh. late, buddy. There's the dragon tail. That hesitation. Like, what are you waiting for? Like, for, if one person TP'd in, he'd still die. If two people TP'd in, he'd still die. If three people TP'd in, they probably will all die. So he needs... He needs to use his brain, his his fist brain, his fist brain. Hey, what is, what exactly is he? Slytherin. He's a Slytherin. Yeah, he's yeah. a Slytherin guard. He need to use that Slytherin brain. And be like, hey, so what's gonna happen? To my teammates TP. Dude, in? he he got stuck in one of those tuna nets, and um, literally he got stuck in a net there, and that's what you gotta eat that dolphin free t safe tuna, man. Not dolphin free. I hope there's no dolphin in your tuna, but the dolphin safe tuna. Sardar safe tuna. There's the mech. Wow, that is early. Yeah, I mean, wow. They've knocked down two towers. Let's look at the net worth here. Whoa, Doom. Look at him. He's off to the races, man. Yeah. Tinker has his POTs. Nine, ten minutes is okay when you don't come under any pressure. I'd say it's, it's decent. And they have a triple stack waiting for him, although he has to get the supports to do it. Mm -hmm. Actually, will this turn into a triple? Yes, it will. Okay. Dude, this is... Look at their positioning, though. Oh, he's trying to mark, but he gets netted. He gets netted once. Oh, he gets netted twice. Cheeky. Oh, they won't have the follow-up. They'll settle for the tower. Mech comes out. March, he's got a little bit better flux. See, here. look, this flux is but terrible. Look at these. Th right, this thing is untouched. It's awful. It's, awful. it's no good. Negative Dyer's flux. He should be able to qual the push with one march. Instead, they're going to get the tower. Or will they? They'll uh, actually the, uh, retreat. Uh, probably get denied. But still, they don't, they don't want. You don't want to lose three towers Big in ten minutes. Creep. It doesn't matter if they get denied or not. Like, them being down is so bad yeah. for them. On the Radiant side, we've talked about how important this Tier 1 is. It's a positioning tool that makes contesting Roche that much more difficult, and DT should be able to take a pretty early Very Roche easy. here. Very yeah, easy I mean, Roche. With, with Chen, it's easy. Now they have a mech. Uh, no medallion up. Oh, the, they're pushing there. This is a smart move from them. Yeah, and you are ready. They did some damage to this tower when their bottom Tier 1 was getting pressured. But DT's ready. Yep. And still, passive game 2-0 in favor of DT. Gold lead has extended to around 3,000 gold, which is actually less than I would expect with the three-tower yeah. uh, disadvantage. And he have a solid experience lead as well, just about 1,200. This ball that this bat rider can he find the right initiate? Because as we said, they don't have good counter initiate. So if he has a big bad bat rider ulti, and they can't do anything about it, mm -hmm. which they, I mean, if Rubik's in like a fantastic position or if DK is really fast about a stun, yeah, maybe he can do something about it. But as it stands right now, they don't have that great counter initiate. Mm -hmm. So any can still win these team fights. AA needs level six though to stop these pushes because they have that early mech and it just does wonders versus that. AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. Does that ring any bells? No. All right. Dude, I've, the last time I took physics was 
sophomore year. You're aging year yourself, of college. Yermolini. You're aging yourself. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. <laughs> I still know what flux is, okay? It's well all done. good. Well done. Tinker working on that on that soul ring. Yeah. There will be a rotation in the mid. We could actually see a big engage. No, this here. is not going to There's no engage. It's going to happen. There's, there's no engage? No. Heard with it here a, first. With a Tinker, you wait for them to run into you. That's almost always how it goes, if you want to win with Tinker. NE want this Tier 1 tower. Their bat's got a blank. They want to use it. They're going to smoke. You are so wrong here, my friend. They will be the initiators. Oh, well. They're hungry. Yeah. They can do it. Actually, they can kill maybe Doom. they won't. They will just yeah, you w you out. like you lasso them into you and you make them fight in the fight in the march. If they fight in march, they lose a the fight. Oh. oh, blink forward, but he's a little bit short. He can't find the lasso. Telekinesis back. They'll do him a favor. They could have straight they killed him. They could have straight, straight, straight killed him. Wow, Doom does blow the ultimate, and I'm not sure if it'll be enough damage. Meanwhile, they find a Crystal Maiden, isolated on the high ground. Now, will this Doom be enough? It won't. Nope. It shan't. It can't. That was a misplay. Why did Rubik send I have no game? idea. If he dragged him in there, that would have been an easy Bat Rider kill. They didn't even need to use Doom there. And if Tinker or Sora runs up, they just Doom them and get an extra kill. So I'm a little bit surprised if that happened that way. But still, DT def does defend their... Does deny their T1. It. <laughs> <laughs> it was denied, yeah. But uh, Chen does have a medallion up now. And with that, they will move straight into He's the He's actually very poor. Chen? Where's his gold? Yeah. He ain't got Dude, none. he's 2408. Like, he both of the supports are sitting around that. Oh, there's the oh, ult. It's hey, super hey. weird. He is so close to getting rocked by that. You have to expect that, I think, when you're uh, doing Roshan. All five heroes are missing off the map, and you have a Chen. And the yeah, but I, I don't know if they're going to contest. They know. Now they have the intel. What do you do with it? Nothing, apparently. Yeah, they're just going to let it fall. They even had a ward down here, so they might have caught a glimpse of them walking into the pit. Roshan falls uncontested. Early Aegis goes to the Doombringer. He's got another 2200 in the bank. Wow. The pushing team looking pretty solid so far. They've done a good amount we of We need an over under on when the next kill is going to happen. I over need a number. under on the next kill. Yeah. I'm going to go about 30 seconds here. Chen is in no man's land. Is he going to die? Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 That's pretty good. Hey, they're on the board. And he gets their first kill 14 minutes in. Wow, I can't believe there's only been four kills in 14 minutes. Yeah, I know. That's ridiculous. Dragon Knight working towards a Shadow Blade. Space needs, creation. Needs more flux. More flux. Well, the thing is, Nature, Nature's Prophet and Doom and uh, the Dragon Knight, they can rock this Tinker. Tinker, they need to keep Tinker down. If they keep Tinker down, they win the game. Because Slaughter doesn't scale that well, and they can just do him down. They just need to make sure Tinker doesn't farm early sheep. So if I'm DT, I'm like, okay, well, let's get our ganking items. Let's get a Shadow Blade up on Nature's Prophet. Let's get a Shadow Blade up on DK. Well, let's just stalk this Tinker wherever he goes. We'll kill him, and then we'll just Doom Slaughter and team fight. That's my game plan of victory if I'm DT. And I'm an E. I'm like, okay, well, let's get some ganks on them so that they can't play aggressively on us. Let's look for ganks with Batrider. Let's look for ganks with our Slardar and Blink. Slardar has a Blink now. Yeah, I know. Where did that come from? I have no idea, but probably sometime that they weren't getting their one kill. I guess he's been farming quite a bit. He's, he's the last hit leader, tw 80 and 21. Yeah, ZCD's had a lot of space, so they've now got two Blinks up, Batrider and Slardar. They need to make use of it, though. Yeah, they can't keep farming with it. This is not a, hey, let's farm and get huge. This yeah. is a, hey, let's kill, and then let's farm and get huge. Yeah, because uh, there is a Midas advantage on the dire that side. Is it is in the inventory of Nature's Prophet. It will be a double Shadow Blade, one on air and one on in July as well. You see, he's not flexing. Yeah. He's definitely not. Mm. Learn about the flux. Tinker one on one. Yeah. You know the DTs that uh, that StarCraft reference, the Dark Templar. I was just thinking about in July. It's funny that he's on Team DT because there's that epic Zerg player named July. Mm -hmm. In July, I wonder if these are all just subtle StarCraft references <laughs> that we don't get. Well, you got them. Well, yeah, a couple of them, but what others are lurking beneath the surface? Oh, there's a bat rider. Alex looking for a kill. Doombringer is oh, in front, but he does have the Aegis. You do not want to go in that. Oh, oh boy, they're gonna. No. Ooh, this is this is disastrous. Oh, no. This may be disastrous. They finish him off. The March of the Machine comes in. Ancient Apparition will fall. The March of the Machine actually doing some damage here. There's the Hand of God, and now they're looking for Slardar. He'll port out. No, well he'll blink and then port out. Alex will do the same. That's not worth it. Not worth it for uh, who? For NE. I mean, they all they did was grab the Aegis, and now they can just push because their only source of initiation is gone. And that's a really long cooldown when you're level six, hundred and second or ninety second cooldown. So they could, I, w I would just take the T two if I'm them, if I'm DT because they don't have the Aegis anymore. But trading Aegis for Lasso is a pretty good trade, and Doom does have a mech, and he didn't use Doom, so it's a pretty good time. Tinker has to be there in position to make a double march off. Will he get there in time? Yes, he will. There is one march coming out. Mm -hmm. There's a march. 
See, Doom's literally we taking are. no damage from the march. You see this? Yeah, he took he absolutely absolutely done. zero because he doesn't know about the flux. That's insane. I know. It's it's an art, man. I'm telling you. It's Anyways, a there's. A is it an art or is it a science? Ah! You <laughs> 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 got that. me there. Look at that. It's rare. I get science is up. art. Yeah. Whoa! Jeez, now we're getting metaphysical here. This is too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> this well, is with five kills in 17 minutes. I guess it's about pace. time we pull out the TI-89 and start graphing probabilities. So they need something to talk about. So radiant, they need to keep stacking. They need to get kills, not on Aegis heroes, not at least not with Bat Rider Ultimate. If they use a Blink Slaughter, that's fine. But they can't use lassos for it. Not on five and five engagements where they're trying to get objectives. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's why Doom's just any other. He's like, well, if you go on me, you will lose the fight. Well, uh, blink is up on Tinker. That's that's good. That's good. Three blinks now. They still only have one kill, but that's okay. They're ready. They got the Shadow Blades, though. Doom is actually just going hard. He's like, screw this. I don't know why he's Straight going hard. Lever. I think he could have gone for a Greed build. He could have gone Shadow Blade as well. Triple Blink into Triple he Shadow Blade. He could have gotten Midas. Yeah, I think he, really he should have gotten Midas. Yeah, this has been such a passive game. The mech has not been necessary. They took down a, t a three T ones, but after that, Tinker has his BOTs, so they can't push, and they have the AA ultimate. So I would actually prefer him to go super greedy and just go like pipe heart or something like that. Yeah. Or a pipe heart AC. Yeah, AC would be really AC, good here. Yeah. Synergize with their pushing strat. Yeah, and it's good versus Slordar. Maybe some Necro books. I wonder what Necro books would have been good too. I wonder what Nature's Prophet is going to get after the Shadow Blade. It very well could be a Necro. He needs a sheep. A sheep. Yeah. This is this is not about brute forcing a push. You cannot brute force a push versus a Tinker. You will lose if yeah, you do that, unless you have five blade mails. Yep. Yeah. Oh 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 oh. Crystal Maiden. Nature's Prophet ports in. Doom. He's on his way. Are you Crystal Maiden, you are out too far pushing by yourself. Yeah. She is very close to that river and. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That's just a free kill. Right away. It really was. They saw it right away in July. It was like, Crystal Maiden, I'm porting in. Let's do this thing. And they did it. Oh, this is the nature. In July is the one that has the really sick uh, ice, ice the scythe of scythe ice. Scythe of ice. Scythe of ice, legendary. That thing is so sick, nasty. Well, Dragonite is doing a stack of his own, and it looks like we have a passive game on our hands, Damn, fellas. He even has a mythical taunt. The shredding the loot invisible? What is that? I don't know. I think I have that one. What does it do? I don't know. He's like playing an invisible loot. Place an invisible loot. That's such a weird. If it was a real loot, that'd be cool. But it's, so he just <laughs> like does a little air guitar. Like I'm. But what is a a loot's like a guitarish? It has strings. I right? thought it, I don't know. Or I thought it was like kind of like a, a flute. Oh, is it? Is I don't. It, is it I a, have no idea. Is it a woodwind or is it a brass? This is not science. <laughs> okay, this is art. I don't know. I, I, I don't, don't know. Art. I don't know my musical instruments that well. Fortunately, piano is the only instrument I play. What a is bit. a lute? I know the L O T lute. Hello. Oh, that yeah, that kind of loot. Loot and scoot. The pirate booty loot. Yeah, pirate, pirate booty loot. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, Jeez. if game, if this game continues to go this way, I think that NE will win out because Hex Tinker is the ultimate so ownage. And it's they can't dirty. push. DT does just does not have they a They have a push pushing lineup. strat that will get thwarted by Tinker. You know, when we're in the yes. picking phase, we're like, what's with this fifth pit Tinker? It's to deal with the push. It's yes, they should not have picked Slaughter, though, because Slaughter does not excel at this type of game. Imagine yeah. if they had a Spectre Radiance. Ooh, now that would be dirty. Because <laughs> really when has he used his blink? Never. I He blinked he blinked to, to uh, escape one He time. blinked into the trees here and then poured it out. That's, yes. that's the extent of that S blink dagger. Spectre could have just daggered. Don't even, need, <laughs> don't even need a blink. Didn't even the blink dagger. He's got a spectrum. Okay, dagger. Alex going for a kill on uh -oh, Doom. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Blink forward into the lasso. Doom, he's in some trouble. AA ult. Crystal Maiden with a frostbite, and they find a free kill. There you go. This is exactly what Andy needed. Now they can translate this into a tower push, and the Aegis would have expired anyway, so it's, what, seven and a half minutes, and now they get a little bit more map control. They need to be able to at least control the Roshan bit. Tinker is so good at defending in Roshan. Static places are exactly where you want to fight with Roshan, which is why he's good at defending Dyer's pushes and why he's good at Roshan. Mm -hmm. So if they can set up there and fortify and at least prevent them from Go. doing it, just March spam, Go. Rocket spam, Dyer's A ultimate, they should be able to do it. I'm not exactly Dyer's sure why Doom is going Heart. I think BKB attack. would be pretty good, but Heart, like... As we saw, the Reaver didn't do anything for him there. I mean, I think he needs armor. Right now, he's only got Dyer's eight armor. Slardar amplifies him. GG. I mean, that's Doom's biggest Blade problem. Blade would be pretty good, because they don't have any BKBs. But I think that Slardar's going to get one, so meh. Blade Mail will be okay. I think just going Assault Karoth Shivas would be, would be right. good, too. Yeah, AC? Shivas. Shivas or AC, both. Yeah, are. but those are like... They're... They're not so great, considering the way game is going. AC's a really good 5-on-5 five five item, but it's not a good split push. 
uh, prevent yeah. getting ganked and getting ganked. So sure. I think it's a fantastic item on Doom, and it would be great if they can't force on fi the 5-on-5, five five, but they can't. If they do, they'll lose out on a lot of farm. I still think AC would be better than Heart, though, in this scenario. Yes, I think so, To deal too. with Slardar, the fact that they want to... I mean, if he could get an AC up, that's their... That's their I would have liked Midas, Heart, Midas Pipe AC Heart, I think, is my build of choice for Doom this game. Right. And Mech goes to Chen. Well, Tinky Winky here. He's not going to go Sheep. He'll go straight into Dagon after Blink. Dagon's okay. It. The only reason I like it here is because they have a ultimate, and they get like the kill threshold is going to be pretty important. So if they can just burst like two people mm -hmm. down during that. The only yeah. problem I don't like about it is Dragonite's going BKB, and they have nothing versus BKB. Uh, I guess they have Lasso, which is mediocre. Slaughter Art too, but it's even not if they the lasso best. Him, though the follow up is not going to be there. He's just too tanky with the BKB on, even if he's Lasso. Yeah. Yeah. So they'll be hard pressed to kill him. They're so magic damage based between And it hasn't been five on five uh, a lot of the time. Well D T going for the second Roshan and and he just No not, ward coverage. Yeah, not even close. Not to they have to the expect world. it though. Like the and also Tinker should be pushing out the lanes. Like yeah. two of the lanes are actually on their side of the map right now, which should not happen when you have Tinker. But he has to be scared though, because of oh. the double shadow blade threat. We see a ping coming out, but it will be too little it's too late. Way too late. Yeah, I mean, part of it is they just, they, I mean, there's that degree of variability. They didn't know it was up. They didn't scout it out. They don't have a room. Doom has controller. heart. I think the, he's still going to die. That's though. an early heart. Yeah, 2,500 hit points. Not too shabby. Not bad. Both the Shadow Blades are up. Some Force Stabs on the way for Chen and Rubik. Or they could be Necro Books. Hard to say. They will smoke up. They're looking Doom, for an opening. Doom wants to get Lasso, though. With this build, you want to get Lasso. Yeah, that's what they're Oh, hello. Uh oh, hey, Crystal Maiden. That's a pretty good you? trade, though. They put, they use a smoke, and they reveal all five heroes' positions. Oh, well, minus yeah. the nature problem. Of all the heroes that get picked off, I guess CM is kind of the ideal candidate. The tactical feed? Yeah, the tactical, the tactical feed. scout. Who needs observer wards when you have your own body? <laughs> Who needs observers when you have a crystal feed? Nah. By the way, I did steal that turn from Lysander, and I absolutely love it. That's what she does. Yeah, Crystal Feed. He's not fluxing. Still no flux. He just doesn't know. Yeah. He just doesn't know. Poor guy. Somebody should write him an email. Well, here we go. Lasso in. They do catch the Doom. But the follow up the is damage? there. His the team team's not even there. What? That was such a great initiate, too. That was like as about as good as you asked for. Oh, hey, hey, Ultimate does connect with a few. The oh, Dragonite. Out. Is he going to die from this Frost Blast? He did get. Missile. Oh, I'm watching him. Oh, he does no. not shatter. Wow. Close call, though. That was so close. What? What's what's his threshold? 10%? Oh, okay, never mind. He wasn't that close. He was close. -ish. He was at like 170. He needed like three more ticks at least. Yeah. Probably a little bit more. And they now have a gem up on Chen on the side of DT. That was a great initiate, though. Had they had anyone there, I think he would have died. Yeah. That would... It was just, I mean, it was a good opening, but he, there was literally no one nearby. Oh, in July, he finds a Crystal Maiden. We'll take a Frostbite. Doom's inbound. And Crystal Oh, wait, I forgot Doom had the Aegis. Takes another spill. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Never mind. That was not a great initiative. <laughs> Foot flopper. Well, I don't know why Tinker hasn't been, like, super spamming. This tower should not be that low, but, well, this tower's going to fall, even with their turtle lineup. And, ooh, AA ult actually connects. They'll be able to finish off Doom as he uh, gets Dagon. But, yeah, I mean, fallen. tier 2 mid for the Aegis and a kill on Crystal Maiden? I think yeah, DT will decent. take it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now Slaughter has a BKB, so he can do something. They need to kill Doom, though, so that he doesn't Doom the BKB Slaughter. That's probably the most important thing in the fight right now. Yeah. But at the same time, okay, so if right now, for, or at least for the next, like, 7 or 8 minutes w until the Aegis is down, and he can still take a fight with DT. Yeah, they're behind by 7,500 gold, but the way the fight's going to go, Blink, Lasso, Doom, BKB, Slaughter, kills him, and then they win the fight from there. It's pretty simple. And then mm -hmm. DK doesn't have a BKB, so he can't man up yet. Um, even he's really close, though. Yeah, even so, like, just him, he he's going to be the next target down. Like, yeah. if, if he's anywhere in close to the fight. So, I don't know. The Bash Wars are going to be a little bit too strong. Yeah, I, I still, I'm still favoring DT here, my man. The I don't know. I definitely think DT has edge. But any, it's not like DT can just man up at the T2s. That's what I'm saying. Yes, I would agree. Nature's Prophet, though, it's, it's more not where they are now, but where they will be in five minutes. Nature's Prophet is very close to a sheep stick. And uh, DK. Oh, here we go. BKB, Alex looking for we'll initiation. Thought. Okay, there's the BKB on DK. Who's he going to find? Bat Rider is hungry. And he's got a doom. All right, a good target. In comes the BKB Slardar. There's the minus armor. And See, they drop they can't do. They can't do anything about the BKB Slardar. They have nothing. Yep. Oh, in comes DK. He'll find Alex. 
He drops the stun, but Rubik takes a lot. This Slardar, he's just going ham on the front lines here. Meanwhile, DK zoning out the rest of them. He finishes off the Bat Rider. Slardar will fall. He overcommits. And now, can DK do something? He's out of mana. Still has Elder Dragon Form on. There's the wand charges. Freezy Freeze. And looking for the AA. I just realized AA is playing AA. That's nice. I like that. Oh, it's Crystal Feedin' about to die again. Big surprise. Uh-oh. Whoa, the Sprout. That's all in all not that bad of a fight. It's not a great fight, but it's not that bad of a fight. Uh, yeah, Slardar and Bat Rider and Crystal Maiden for Duke. When you're behind. When you're behind, yeah. When you're okay. behind, it's a good treat. Yeah, it's still, though, furthering their lead. And now Nature's Prophet. He should have his sheep stick. Yes, he sure does. He has this is scary. For it. That's the big one because, I, as I pointed out earlier on, they lack the control. And now that they have a sheep stick, they can catch the Slardar. That's something to deal with the BKB. Yes, they also need four staves on any so that they can save uh, save the slaughter. Slaughter is going to be the main focus. Tinker's going to be usually he's usually too elusive with the blink dagger, and he's usually very far away. So most of the time, you want to go on the slaughter instead because he'll be in a better position. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, DT still going to have trouble breaking the T three. That's the big issue. I don't I don't see them breaking it for quite some time. Oh, Bat Rider, he's about to get initiated on by this Nature's Prophet in July. He's looking to make it happen. There's the piggy, telekinesis, and he's dead. Good wardage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think they just need to be more keen on the Doom's positioning. Oh, air is uh -oh. gonna go in on uh -oh. the Tinker. Oh, Sheiky. this is disastrous. Shiki, this is bad. He does not have a buyback either. He will finish off the Nature's Prophet, but does not survive. They should be able to take this bottom tier two here, I think. Deck on three man Radiance over sheep. Dang, dude. He would have sheep right now if he if he didn't um I get the same thing he might not have gonna kill, but sheep is just so much better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. I mean it's it's just really good here as well. They have more follow up for their initiation. Rod of eight toes coming out on the chin. Dang. Very interesting. Top tower is under interesting build. I would have preferred a Vlad's on him. So uh, it's just more damage for everybody. Atos is not that great versus a Blinking Tinker, not that great versus a Slaughter with BKB. I'm trying to figure out what is useful. I guess it's for Bat Rider. Bat, I think. Yeah, Bat Rider. Or, or to, catch, or to force a very early BKB from Slardar. Mm -hmm. the, the bad thing about it is you, you usually do have to BKB an Atos. If yeah. you don't, you're going to get caught out. So yeah. It's it's pretty good at that, but at the same time, you're probably going to BKB anyways. So. Big AA ult. Radiance Does connect with three. Oh, I was like, where's Tinker? But he's dead. He's still dead. Yeah, I think he's back up now, though. And I don't think they'll be able to do this. Nature's Prophet porting back in. They may try and brute force a fight here, but they're not going to have... If, oh. they, if they have a double march, there's no way they can push. They have plenty of time on Elder Dragon form. There's uh -oh. no flux, man. No flux. So. See, he casts it like... Oh my goodness, this t this Tinker Dude, marches. they can still hit the tower and like barely get clipped by the machines, too. He did it too far back. It's not even just the flux, it's just the... I know. Even just the place he cast it. He's making it cringe, man. Mm. Oh, they want the reinitiation. Shadow Blade from air. There was a sentry down, but Chen does have uh, a gem. That'd be that's very optimistic. Like any being oh, like away from their tower is just such a low probability. I guess it wasn't. He didn't really waste anything though. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it looks like Dragonite will be the one working towards the assault. Karas does have a plate mail on. I think. Doom could use a blink and some armor. That's two things. That's that be he good needs. too. I would yeah. like to see a blink on him too, because they don't have like a great way to catch people except for Nature's Prophet with his Scythe of Vice and the just, DK just sell with the his, heart and buy a Shadow Blade. Yeah, mm, don't sell the heart. Don't sell it, but yeah, but literally, I mean, the thing is, he could be the front liner and survive the initiation from Slardar if he had enough armor to deal with the amplified damage. But the fact that the amplified damage just takes him into the negatives, he gets cut through like butter. He's wet tissue paper. It I mean, at the same time, Tinker has a lot of magic damage to deal with it. Because if he had AC, he wouldn't have that much HP. Yeah. And then they have the A ultimate too, so... It's yeah, I guess it's not all bad. He will go for a BKB next, it looks like. But That's good. More BKB. importantly, I think Doom just needs to position himself better not to get jumped, because he hasn't really utilized yeah. his ultimate all this, that much. This would be game. okay if he had a better team to back him up, but mm -hmm. he doesn't have... There, there's not like, what are you going to do, counter it with a sprout? Oh, no. oh, Sheiky's in some trouble. Nature's Prophet will find the initiation, uses the sheep stick straight away. And, well, Nature's Prophet gets dropped once again. Slardar with a huge Slytherin crush. BKB's popped, out comes the Doom ultimate. Lasso comes out on the Dragonite, but he's way too tanky. He'll stand his ground. He wants this Slardar, and he will find it. Slardar falls. The Hand of God comes. Nature's Prophet did buy back. He's right back in the mix. 
And Tinker bought back as well. Could it be a dieback? Him and Crystal Maiden are both dangerously low. And they can't secure the kills. They grab a kill on Dragonite instead. Not a bad hold. Yeah. The problem is Tinker's getting caught out, though. Like, he had Dag on three like 10 minutes ago. Now he still has a Dag on three. Yeah, and, and he wonderful. had to buy back right there. That's, yes. That's really hard. That's the first step to winning for DT, is making Tinker use his buyback and catching yeah. him out. It's a shame they didn't have any way to finish off both the CM and the Tinker. If that was a dieback for the Tinker, that would have been a complete disaster. That probably would have been a Rax. I mean, that was. A good hold, but it was really close. Tinker had like 100 hit points to spare. That was. Mm. And DT can do Rosha now. They need the Aegis, they need the Cheese, and then they can push again. Mm -hmm. So they're slowly but surely breaking NE's defenses. Tinker was number three on net worth. Now he has slipped to number four. And the area that he can move about is very, very limited now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He is level 17 now, though. Doesn't have that third point. When do you usually get the third point of free arm? Once you get your sheep. So it's not worth it until you get cheap. I usually you know, get stats. rearm at six. Usually, I, I uh, some people say you should get it at eight, but I usually get it at six just because the opportunity arises. No, le the level often. three. Yeah, right. level two I get at when I get ultimate orb. Level three I get with a scythe device. Oh, okay, so you time it based on scythe device. You ever go Dagon before sheep? Mm, no, sheep is just so much better. Yeah. I if I'm like crushing the See, other I team. think of Dagon on, uh, on Tinker as like one of the last items as well, like, yes. like a, f a fifth when slot you, type. When you item. have so much mana that it doesn't matter, but yeah, like exactly. the mana is so important early exactly. that you need to make the best use of it. Oh, looking for initiations here. Really both sides actually kind of eager to fight, but no one will And get he should out. not be eager to fight yeah. because Tinker's buyback is still on cooldown. If they kill him right now, get the Aegis and Cheese, that's a Rax. So they can't afford that and that's a pretty small window. Um it is 4 minutes. And then the Aegis is going to be up in one minute. And this is like almost a maximum time. Not so even one minute, dude. It's like five seconds. There it is. Yeah. So they have like th a good three minutes to pick off Tinker and get a Rex. Yeah. So it's up on, it's up to any to not make a mistake, though. Like, yep. they just need to not be caught out. Let the T2 fall on bottom if you need to. Defend up the T3. But just don't get sheeped out and die. Yeah. Penance. So it looks like they're trying to make a move for the third Roshan. But at the same time, it's too late. Looks like Rubik has actually stolen Amplify, so that's really, really good for them in this uh, Roshan. But, like, they didn't defend number one, they oh. didn't defend number two, now they want to defend number three, but they're 10,000 gold behind. Yeah. They should have defended it when they're like 4,000, not 12,000. Yep. Cheese goes the way of the Dragon Knight, and Doom the one to grab the Aegis once again, no surprise there. Doom now has his BK, uh, BKB up as well, so that is good news. He just needs to survive the initial onslaught, and uh, that will help quite a bit. Uh, the Nature's Prophet just needs to be on the lookout for Batrider. Same with Rubik. Instant Sheep on him, instant uh, Telekinesis, and any will lose the team fight. Mm -hmm. Because that means that Slaughter will get doomed immediately after the lasso ends, and they can't really do anything without that. Slaughter, Slar. 5 1 and 3 on the Dragonite. Ares had a lot of room this game. He's been yep. doing quite well. Even yep, Doom as well. He's two, two, and seven. He hasn't taken too many spills, mostly because of the Aegis. That's <laughs> he's had th two Aegises pop procked already, and now he's got the third in his inventory. So he's actually died a bit more than that would reflect. But yeah, Chen could also use better sendbacks too. Like you send back the immediately the person who gets lassoed, he'll probably survive. Oh yeah, that's actually a good point as well. But we'll hold that thought because Slardar, he's in a sticky wicket. He'll take a Dragon Tail to the face. Doesn't even get the BKB off. What a bad way to start off this engage. Yeah, Doesn't now they have, have enough buyback? control, though. Okay, he does have a buyback, so it could be worse. Their gank is really strong, though. With the si Shadow Blade Scythe of Vice, with the Shadow Blade Dragon Knight stun, they can't split push effectively. If you can't split push with any's lineup, you're going to lose in the late game. Their, yeah. The farm lead is just continuously going in DT. Like, the graph is continuously oh, sloping yeah. down. It's getting to that point where they will not maybe brute force the high ground because of Tinker, but they can brute force a fight pretty much anywhere else on the map. They can definitely starve yeah. any. 14,000. Oh, 12, Alex. That was a poor, poor course of action. I, d I don't know what the plan was. That, that's really bad now. Well, Tinker, Tinker's still alive. That's the most important part. Yeah, Slardar and Bat both have buybacks, but DT will just press forward. Glyph still available. They do force the buyback on Bat, and perhaps that's all they wanted to do is they will about face right as he comes up. I Smart think they play. can still do it. They have yeah. the Aegis. They have the Dragonite ultimate up. They don't have BKB on Dragonite, but it's up in eight seconds. So yeah. I don't. Mm, they they still need to kill Tinker, but they either can starve it right now or force the issue right now. Either or. They shouldn't wait to like push forward a little bit unless they get Tinker. Kill Tinker. Yeah. 
I, oh, well, yeah. I mean, they have plenty of time on the Aegis, so they don't have to brute force it right this second, but they should definitely try it. Do you like Tinker as a hero? Just overall, like, Tinker in general? Yeah, overall hero, and then how do you feel about him? How, how do I feel about him? Like, um, do, you, do you think he unnecessarily delays games, or do you think he's actually, like, that's... that's Sometimes. I, I, I mean, that's sort of like a core part of the hero. Like, that's one of the things he brings to the table. So, right. like, to, to take that away from him would make him just kind of useless. I think he's cool in concept, but um, I think more often than not, he makes games kind of bland and just like, I think this team is going to win. I know that they're going to win, but Tinker can delay it by another 30 minutes and just sit in the base and keep making March. Um, like, I feel like more often than not with Tinker, it's just the, the game ends up being... When will the team pick off Tinker without buyback? And then as soon as they can do that, they just win. That's true. So, like, that's a, a mechanic that I don't particularly care for, but I, I like the concept of the hero. I think he's, like, I like that he's really unique with his rearm. Like, just keep spamming rearm, and eventually it's to the point where you can instant sheep somebody. That's a, a really cool and unique dynamic that no other hero has. So, I, I like that aspect of him, but I, I wish March the Machine worked a little bit differently. So, I wish there was just some, you know what I'm, you know those games that I'm talking about, man. Oh, I know. And that's that's when I don't like Tinker. But other than that, I think he's pretty cool. I, I like his graphic. I think he looks awesome. Mm -hmm. He's he's a well designed hero, I think. Except for yes. March. March is the only thing that's like slightly like it could be changed and I don't think that many people would mind that much. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, like it just it's it's really cool. Like he's just a, a really unique hero in his play style too. Like rushing BOTs on him is so powerful because you can port, rearm, and just port around. Like that that's a that's cool. You know that's not something that you can do on any other hero. You can't do anything even like it on any other hero. Right. And I, that's one of the things I like about Dota over the other MOBAs is that the hero they're like I feel like the heroes are a lot more unique, a lot more robust with stuff like that. Yeah, they are super unique. So that's that's like one of the things I really like about Tinker. But yeah, I, I don't play him because. I, I he's too much, man. He's too hard. Yeah, I just, I, love, I just embarrass I love myself. Tinker. Yeah, I know. He's well, such a good. You're hero. actually good at him, though. So it's it takes you, you embarrass practice. other people with Tinker. I, I also don't like this guy because of his Tinker boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were getting some fans in chat earlier during the break. They were talking about how how humorous it was to see you uh, getting frustrated about the TA last he's game. Yeah, this guy's still doing the flux. Like, oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. Tinker 101, man. Oh, my Lanta. Learn to march. That's like the only somewhat difficult thing about the hero is... Angling your march. Angling your march and not dying when you split push. That's about it. Like, yeah. Rocket, you just press buttons when you see hero. He just has a really unique play style. Like, getting used to just spamming that T, porting back to the well, porting the lane, porting back to well. Port like, he's like a... It's nonstop. Most heroes, like, you get a little break. You're like, all right, you know, I'm going to go yeah, back to the well. Like... Tinker, you don't, you don't, unless you're dead without buyback, there's, there's no break. It's nonstop. Alex looking for a pick, but he's alone. I don't think, what, what is he doing? Well, he wants this. Oh, uh, the Tinker's there. Oh, Tinker ports in. Okay. Ooh, nice Nature's Profit takes an AL as well, but. Yeah, That's kind of cool. Yep. Oh, oh, Slardar. He gets caught off in the fray. Tinker's busy, and he won't be there to help his buddy. That's when you know things are bad. When Slardar gets picked off right outside your T3. Yeah, that's true. And like at this point, they're basically just starving. Any twenty thousand gold, just about twenty thousand experience. Yep. And Aegis will expire, though. That is one thing that's a little bit questionable. I think DT did wait maybe a bit too but long. But what's here. stopping them from getting the fourth one? Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Rubik, he catches the. Th oh, look at that! Pulls Crystal Maiden to the low ground. I like that play. Doom coming in. Level death on the ancient apparition. Bat Rider. Okay, I like this tactic though. from DT. They're pushing mid and top at the same time, man. Tinker can't march two lanes. That's one of his weaknesses. So he kind of dies to the the the, Split push. the multi lane push. Yeah. And the glyph has now been forced out. So DT are doing this well, taking some heavy pressure onto the top tier three. Tinker coming in. He might be able to finish off the profit, and he does. But at what cost? Nature's Prophet will buy back. Lasso now used on the Dragon Knight. Another Dagon. That's and huge. Tier 3 in the mid still standing. They forced two buybacks. And Nature's Prophet might die again. Uh-oh. Slardar, he's in the front lines. BKB popped by the Nature's Prophet now. They want to turn this around. Do multi-used. Alex, he's going to get sheeped. He will make it back up to the high ground, though. And Shen still in the fray. All right. Now Rubik will fall. Tinker has enough for buyback now Tinker's following that work. kill. He really is. Yeah. But he could be in some trouble now. Doom's going to try and finish him. Do pick up a Shiva's as well. I do like that choice. 
Uh, Tinker blinked into the trees. And nice. he'll be fine. Nicely played Tinker. Now, see, he does well at the late game. He's up just, in his, just, just up the in his game. Yeah. yeah. He needs a sheep, though. Okay, he's going for a sheep. Finally, after the Dagon 5. So, this game could potentially last a very long time. Yeah. Like, it, it's not... I mean, DT has a very sizable gold advantage, 20,000. They were very close to breaking the T3, and they forced out a glyph, and they killed Slardar. But a couple important things. Firstly, they they did that with the Aegis and the Cheese, and they still didn't actually get a T3. Secondly, Tinker didn't die. Uh, didn't die. He also didn't use buyback. They did not burn the Cheese, though. Dragon Ice. Oh, yeah, they didn't burn the Cheese. So that's T Cheese is not that relevant, though, because of the... Because of the AA ultimate. Right. Um, and Slardar didn't buy back either, even though he died twice. So they got a lot of things accomplished, but still, it, they need more. They still need to kill the Tinker so that he can't just march and rocket spam. And it was a very well-constructed effort. Ooh, Ancient Apparition. He's got himself the Veil of Discord. How do you feel about Veil over Ags on AA? I think it's questionable. The thing is, he, I think he thought that the game was going to end very soon. Uh, okay, so he started just working towards the item that he could finish rather than being right. half I mean, it's not that big of a gold difference. It's 2950 compared to 4200. Yeah. So it's like... I just think AGs on AA is... one. Would you say it's like top tier AGs upgrades? Mm. No. It's good, though. It's, it's damn good. good. It's what would be top tier AGs upgrade? God tier. <laughs> who's Who's like... Well, who is Ag uh, Tiny? It's pretty cool. Ag Tiny. Yeah. Ag Tiny. You have he's, to get it. He's that, probably God tier. That's God tier. Ag's upgrade. Yeah. The dumpster tier ones are a little bit easier. Are there, is there another Puck, God, God Puck tier? Puck is definitely dumpster tier. What? Puck has an Ag's upgrade? Yeah, it's dumpster tier. I've never I've never seen anyone, not even in a pub game, when someone's trolling. It's me, I've never so seen it. awful. It's that bad that trolls. Disruptors is pretty good. It, oh, yeah, it disruptors. might not be God tier, but it's still pretty good. I, I guess you could say the effect is God tier, but I don't. I don't think you could put it in that category just because he never gets it. Like Tiny's yeah, his core. True. He always gets it. There's like I a tiny Clockworks. Is crazy. Clockworks is God tier. Yes, yes, okay. Clockworks is really good too. You know, I would say that Huskars is actually God, pretty oh, close to God tier if it isn't. Huskar is dumpster tier, so that makes it seem worse, <laughs> but his eggs upgrade is not good. Yeah, that's true. This shit's crazy. I'd say those three are like really, really good. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I could second that. This is a weird match, man. We're 45 minutes in, and I I think you're right. Based on that hold that any had, I thought, like, uh, DT could break it with that uh, split push, but, yeah. I mean, even these Tier 3 towers, mid. the mid has a lot of health. The top one was low, but they, they had a Spectre. Really oh, well. my goodness. This game would be, like, so much different if there was a Spectre instead of a Slardar. Yeah, seriously. Like, Spectre would be really fat right now. He would have a Radiance and some other core items. He would yeah. be... So it synergizes so, so much better with the AA, too. Yeah. They didn't want to make a hold at this Roche, though. Roche is back up. And our Radiant side will smoke forward. Oh, Nature's Prophet isn't there. He's going to be late to the fight. And here they go. Uh-oh. They hop forward. Super's in trouble. Chen falls before the fight starts. We need to look at the buyback chart. He saw his Hand of God available. Chen look at that push up on Doom, though. Look at that. That is huge. Doom ultimate used on Slardar. Tinker finishes off the Dragon Knight. There's like three fights erupting here. Tinker taking heavy damage. Nature's Prophet actually picks him off. Yep, Doom's still stuck on the high ground. I think he should buy back for this. Tinker. Oh, he doesn't actually have buyback. Yeah, back. Tinker doesn't have it. He's short 100 gold. Oh boy, is that bittersweet. Now AA is going to fall. Bat Rider. No, AA actually scoots out. Nature's Prophet gets picked off by the Bat. Oh, wow. What a turnaround. What a turnaround. Slardar's alive with 100 hit points. TP out, bro. This is, that was huge. That was like massive, massive team. If Tinker had not died there, they would have been able to get the Aegis, and then they would have, they would have been in a fantastic position. But consider this: that was a twenty three thousand gold lead, twenty two thousand gold lead, and they still like lost lost the fight. Mm -hmm. So, and this is outside of their base. When they're in their base with a more fortified position, they're gonna and be towers. even. Yeah, and and towers, they're gonna be even harder to take down. So, I even though this game is yeah still very long. 23,000 gold lead, it's not, it's not that close to being over. Unless Tinker messes up. If Tinker messes up, then it's GG. Yes. If but Tinker gets caught out without buyback and they're in a position to push, that's Rax. GG well played. They, yes. It's, a lot is riding on the back racks. of this Tinker right now. Yeah. It's, uh, that's a lot of pressure as a Tinker. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. Tinker's already a lot of pressure. You don't, don't, you don't pick Tinker unless you don't, unless <laughs> you don't want pressure. It's a good point. Unless you want pressure, I guess. Yeah. Now, there has been one big item pick up from DT following that fight, and that is a Hand of God on Dude, Chen. Rubik's going a heart. Are you flipping kidding me? How is he, how is he getting, getting a heart? That's ridiculous. 
I think you should get a sheep anyways, but still, heart's pretty incredible. Is it even good on Ruben? No. I mean, I, I, <laughs> it's it's not, but he's he's tired of dying to the to the uh, burst from Tinker. But I, if you are, then you get BKB, or you just sheep him with your scythe of your own. So I don't know. I would prefer... I, I must feel like Lincoln's would be better. Well, uh, Lincoln's is so-so. Against the, if, if your problem is Tinker... Yeah. I feel like Lincoln's is The just thing is, Tinker has so many ways to pop your thing, though. That's true. He has, like, he should have Sheep, Dagon, and Laser. Three ways to pop your Lincoln's, and well, then he just refreshes. That Sheep so. isn't coming anytime soon. Whoa, ho, ho, Doom taking a turn for the crazy. That's an Ag Scepter. That is crazy. It's crazy talk. All right, so we're, we're, we're ranking the tiers of Ag Scepters here. Doom. Chen and Doom. What category? Chen Mediocre is... Mediocre tier, god like, tier. Chen's, like, 65 percent percentile. Okay. That's, that's yeah, it's pretty good. It's admirable. It's good, not great. Good, not Dooms great. Dooms is like 20th percentile. It's like oh, close to one of the worst. I'd so say. the Dooms, it's weird. It increases the damage and duration, but the duration doesn't count down if an enemy... It is increases it by one second. Trained. One second duration. But that's not what's important. What's important is if Dooms stays... If any of an enemy... No, wait, wait, wait. If the enemy is within 900... So if Doom stays on top of you, it stays ticking. Yeah, but how often has Slaughter walked away with Doom? Not that often. He usually dies after he gets Doom. Mm. That last fight, he walked away from Doom. He, he was the Doom target, and he lived. Oh well, I guess so. so you could also just go <laughs> suck on that. Marini. You could, I mean, one time, <laughs> one time. <laughs> but at the same time, he could just have more damage and just kill him. Yeah, right. He could just get. Um, yeah. What other item could he get? I think Ags on Doom is only good if you have Refresher. Yeah, you if you have Refresher, how how many percentile points does it pop up? It goes from twenty maybe to forty. Thirty-five. Mm, you don't 35. really need to do. Yeah. You could just go sheep. You can go double <laughs> sheep. She, yeah, she plus double better. Shivas plus double Doom. Like, that's true. There's that's a lot of items incredible. that are just way better. Yeah, just and Sheep isn't better. even that much more expensive than it. Well, interesting. Yeah, finally, some damage up on Nature's Prophet. Yeah, he's the, got an MKB. I'm surprised he went MKB. I guess he probably wants to stop the Rion from Tinker, but now Tinker has a Ghost Scepter, so Nature's Prophet can't really do that much to him unless he gets a Scythe. Yeah, just looking for some damage. I feel like Orchid wouldn't be awful. I feel like Tinker should have gotten a finish a scythe before the ghost. Yeah. Is there still a cheese just sitting in the pit? No. Rubik pinged a cheese. This what's the, this game is going to go on a while. Well, this is a really big game. Now, this is worth this reiterating is here. This is the final BO2 first match of this of the last BO2 of this tournament. If DT win this, it's it, it's over. There will be a game two, but they're the team that's going on. If NE win this, it's all literally all tied up. Both these teams will be three and two, and then it will come down to that final game. So I mean, NE are in it to win it. This is this is a potentially not potentially it is a deciding game. So you can understand why both teams are playing yes. a little more passive, playing very careful. There's a lot on the line here. This is the difference between being in Star Ladder season nine and twiddling your thumbs at home. just sitting yeah sitting around finding finding tournaments to play in. Rupik has his heart completed. The thing I don't like about heart is it being very vulnerable to Slardar. Like, Slardar will still just crush him because yeah. he has five armor and plus five with AC. Yeah. So here they go. Going for the big smoke gank. If DT wins this, they advance. So this, this is it. This could be the the big smoke that the they're waiting for. The big plays. The big, the big one. Tinker is... Speaking of smoke, it, it's weird that Tinker has a pipe. I always felt, thought that that was like a strange... Is is he like what is Tinker? Is he mechanical? Is he a goblin? Is he a gnome? There's a guy inside it. It's a guy inside of a suit. Yeah. Do you oh, see it? so he's so he must be. Is he a goblin? Is that right? Um, I'm not oh, sure. Crystal Maiden. I need oh, to showcase geez. you. <gasps> oh no! Four step over. CM will survive. Wow. That was actually a big play. That's huge. Now they press forward. They will find AA though. Yeah, and it's uh, just Piggy, a oink oink. It's just AA. On the AA. Bat Rider, he'll BKB, Nature's Prophet looking for him. Oof. It was close, but... It was close. They still had to deal with Tinker, though. though. They're big heroes to get in order of importance. Number one, Tinker. Number two, Slaughter. Number three, Bat. Number four, AA. Number five, Crystal Venus. So they got number four of five. <laughs> yeah. Which, I mean, it's still important, though. Yep. Oh, Doom. He walks forward. Aegis reclaimed reasonably Green's soon here. Tower this tower is way too low to defend, though. Yep. They there was no march. Where was the march spam, bro? There's, there's still no marches coming out. There's a glyph available. They're not going to go for the build. Oh, Tinker sheeped up. He might potentially die here. He gets doomed. He's inside the sprout. Oh, Where's his team? He needs no. a four step back to base. Tinker's in big trouble. Oh, so is the Nature's Prophet, though. He'll fall. Tinker does get picked off. He buys back right away. Nature's Prophet, he buys back as well. Now they come back. The racks have fallen. Glyph still available. They didn't use the glyph to save the racks. 
I'm surprised. They kill Tinker one more time. Game's over. Yep. Slardar now he'll fall. He doesn't have buyback. Oh. I think it's. I think it's getting. I think close it's to game over too. They're in trouble. If this Tinker player were, player were a better player, I think they could have. They could have turned this around. That's. Uh, those are some bold words, there, friend. I will. Those are fighting words, friend. Those are fighting words, <laughs> but. It may be true. Oh, Sheiky. Yeah, he'll get Sheik. He's, he's a goner. Uh, yeah. Tinker, That's it. No, Tinker. Oh, DG. And these chances of advancing have been dashed. <sighs> it was a good game, though. Oh, uh, well, it was uh, It was a crazy game. It was uh, a little slow getting going, but it was It was titillating. I enjoyed it. We it spiked, was all right. Uh, we sparked quite a debate about how good the Ag Scepter is on Doom. And literally back-to-back -back lines, one person said, It's fucking OP. Next person, it's completely useless. It's 20, <laughs> 20th percentile. I think in variance, it might be like 15 to 25, but it's still Ugh. yeah, gross. Like, if you get that item. yeah, You have to just think about it compared to other items. That's that's the thing. Like, you think about, okay, he's got that, but what if he had a sheep? You know, what if he had a Shiva's? And it yeah. just the, the utility is not there. It so isn't. It's silly willy. So that was game three of this best of two. There will be basically a relegation match coming up next. It, it is decided it will be both uh, DT and I forgot who's, uh, DT and CIS will be the two teams uh, advancing from this round robin four team tournament. Fat Robin. The Fat Robin tournament, yes. Uh, big Robin, the Batman. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe any can you know take a take a pride win here in the last game. Yeah, I don't think they'll be defending as vigilantly in the. No, I, that's <laughs> safe to assume, I think. Well, but congratulations to yeah, those two teams. Congrats are in order. Well played. Uh, they they did execute that. Well, I was a little little shaky on their strat, but they made it happen. We yeah, saw their draft was like. Eh. Yeah, a little a little bit rough, but they uh, they pulled it out. The double. They got so far ahead early though. Blade, that was was yeah. important. They got those three T one towers, and they got four Roshans. Yeah, they got every single Rosh. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I think that's that, and he should have defended earlier, though, like yeah. the Roshan. The, like once you let two slip by, it's like, are you really going to be able to control the third? Like you have yeah. to, you have to hit it early. At least contest, even if you can't get the Rosh yourself. Like make it, make it clear that you're not going to hand it over for free. Maybe yeah. you can bully them out of the pit. That's true. There's things you can do when you have a Bat Rider. There's always that that chance. That, I mean, they had Slardar with a blink pretty early on. They definitely could have been. Or draft. Aggressive. Don't draft Slardar. Draft Spectre. Yeah. <laughs> Spectre, man. <laughs> Spectre. Is Dra Spectre. It's it's true. Though. I mean, Slardar is a good hero in niche lineups, but. He he needs that synergy to really shine. Without the yeah. synergy, he's just I a, agree. He's just a dumpy dude. They, with they no would legs. have so much synergy with Spectre though. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So well, all right, guys. One more match coming up. Thank you for joining us here for the uh, last day of the Star Ladder Season Nine Chinese qualifiers. We got one game coming your way. Don't go anywhere. The finale. The finale.